Hello, it's Charles Cherney, and this is the Ask Charles Cherney series. And today's question is, what is the condo doc and budget review contingency? So uh, this is a contingency that's a standard contingency on an offer on a condominium. I'm a real estate agent in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts. And in Cambridge and Somerville, 75% of the real estate transactions are condominium sales. So this contingency is something that you're seeing all the time with so many people making offers on condominiums. So what is the condo doc and budget review contingency? What it is, is a contingency in an offer on a condo that makes known that your offer is contingent upon reviewing the condominium documents and budget for the specific association that the condo you're making an offer on is a part of. So it may be that the condo docs could be thought of as including the master deed and the bylaws and the trust and the plans and then the budget for the association, which is typically an annual budget. There may additionally be meeting minutes from the trustees or from the management company if there is a management company. So all of these together we can think of as the condo documents and they can be many pages long and require some amount of time to review. In fact, many buyers depend on their real estate attorney to review them. And in a normal real estate transaction in Cambridge and Somerville, a buyer will typically retain a real estate attorney after offer acceptance. After the offer is accepted, attorney is retained. If it's an offer on a condominium, one of the first orders of business for the buyer's real estate attorney is going to be to review these documents, to look through them and to advise the buyer if the attorney has any concerns. So this contingency is a very important contingency. Typically, the buyer is afforded a period of review between accepted offer and signing of the purchase and sale agreement, which replaces the offer as the binding agreement between buyer and seller. So if you're on a fast track, it could be a couple business days between offer and PNS, if you're on a more normal timeline, the distance between accepted offer and signed purchase and sale could be seven to 10 days. But there'll be some period of time if this condo doc contingency is in the offer that the buyer and their attorney are afforded a chance to review the condominium documents. So is this condo doc and budget contingency ever removed? To my surprise, as an experienced agent, it sometimes is. We've been in a hot seller's market for the most part in Cambridge and Somerville since about the middle of 2000. 12. And so some buyers have made contingency free offers on condominiums and removed this basic contingency from their offer. I think it's always wise to include this contingency in an offer so that you and your real estate attorney as a buyer have a chance to absorb the documents that govern the association, to look at the budget, to make sure the association is healthy, to understand any rules and regulations uh, laid out in the documents. So if, for example, you have a dog and the condo documents say no dogs allowed, well, you will have learned something very important in reviewing the documents and then you'd be afforded the right to exit the transaction based on the condo doc and budget review contingency if you should find something that you're not satisfied with upon your review. So look, it's part of the due diligence in purchasing a property to better understand the association that the condominium is a part of and to review these documents carefully. People retain a real estate attorney in Massachusetts and so it is the tradition and the norm for the buyer's real estate attorney to review the documents and make sure everything is in order. What if you're making an offer on a condo that's part of a new conversion? It might be new construction. It might be a multi that's being converted to condominiums and the condominium documents are not readily available or not completed, perhaps still in draft form. If that's the case, then your right to review the documents will be preserved in the signed purchase and sale that replaces the signed offer as the document between buyer and seller. And typically it'll say something to the effect of once received by the buyer and their attorney, they, sh they shall be granted a seven day period of review of said documents. So you're still likely going to preserve the right to review these documents documents if they're not ready right at the time or right after you've made an offer. So be very careful to include this contingency if you're making an offer on a condominium and then be careful too with your real estate attorney to review the documents once granted these documents for review to make sure that you feel good about purchasing a condominium in Cambridge or Somerville. My name is Charles Cherney. This is the Ask Charles Cherney series. Reach out at any time for more information about condominiums and condo docs and the process of buying or selling in Cambridge or Somerville. Take care.